credits for the kill. For the last time, Drax, we're not killing Fin Fang Foom. We're catching him to give the Lady Hellbender so she forgives us and hopefully helps us fight the church. <sighs> Seems complicated. Water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Muscle Drax, I am certainly capable. Instead of giving her form, any chance Lady H might settle for a few of these? This is definitely in Drax's wheelhouse. What's taking so long? Pelmafin Sardu, Juntai Nagaltau, Goth and Kogal. Gonna push it over, Drax. I will gladly assist. <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder, people. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. We are the perfect team. Guys, there's so much at stake right now. I mean, if we don't get Lady Hellbender on our side, if we don't find a way to take down Raker and his flarked up church... We know, Peter! Staying positive, making the most of this adventure, it helps take the edge off. Whoa! This place is crumbling all around us! Whoop! <clears throat> Whoa! Forking Maklu! Maklu 4, Peter. You must be fair to the other Maklu's. Of fin fang fool. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. 
The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. Foam! It's foam! Yes! More going, keep Just going! Just you fucking rock! Yes! Yeah, Ominous is right! Targa gonna call. I'm Groot. Groot says to put on your sliding pants. Looks like the only way down. Also really terrifying. Nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Melt that one, too. It ain't quite as cold in this cave. You're the one with fur. Groot's practically naked. Groot don't get cold, but he's a big baby in the heat. I'm Groot. Hey, we're all flammable. I am so jealous right now, Quill. You should be. Can't jump. It's 
like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. That rock tried to murder us, so we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltonator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? PD Hotguns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope, no. no. How did you know your guns would work back there? They've saved us three times already. I mean, how did you know they'd melt that ice wall? Oh, uh, I... didn't. So we could have just as easily died horribly. Yep. that turns people inside out. Oh yeah, the zipper. Man, I gotta fix that thing. Thereabouts. <laughs> Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. We just almost got crushed by a giant meteor. Indeed. Almost. He's got you there. Wendigo! What the flark? It might be his name. Maybe he's trying to communicate. Please don't. I am Groot. Wendigo! Wendigo! See? He just wanted to... We know they're all around us. Keep your eyes peeled. I smell an ambush. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. But we are clearly still being stalked by the snow beasts. They ain't exactly subtle. When to go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Those things grow in a frozen hellscape. I think they're made of sturdier stuff than that. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Groot says those plants deserve it. I imagined Foon would sense our arrival and rush to face us. I am disappointed. Maybe he's hiding from us. Unlikely. We did kick the crap out of that ugly dweller thing. <laughs> Another plant falls to Captain Heatglob. Nope, still not tired of it. Nice shot, Peter. Okay, you're just killing weeds at this point. You think Golden Boy is getting tortured right now? 
Ah! It burns! Brute says they've got corrosive spores. Maybe don't get too close. <laughs> nope, still not tired of it. We've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. Okay, you're just killing weeds at this point. Maybe try something else. OK. 
Okay, I'm done playing with the snow monkeys. Wendigo. Is that really what we're calling them? Hey, they're the ones who keep yelling Wendigo. Wendigo. See? Sounds like we haven't seen the last of them. Yeah. <clears throat> they say Fin Fang Foom is a foe unlike any one could imagine. I mean, he's basically a dragon from the fairy tales on Earth. Ridiculous. This is not some Terran tale of fairies. He was a great reptilian beast, gifted with flight and a rage so hot he breathes fire. Right. My mistake. Maybe Hellbender will want to add some of those Wendigo to her army. Assuming they don't hold a grudge. Hey, they started it. So much for not holding a grudge! on the menu. Pieces. 
That wreck is the camp we saw? Nah, this thing has been here for ages. Look, the smoke's coming from the other side of it. We're close, but we're gonna need to get up there. Oh, please. It's probably the least dangerous thing on this planet. About yay high. Yay is not a unit of planet. Groot knows what he means. down for you guys. Hey, you know... Look out below! Ha! That'll work! You think those creatures were using this ship for shelter? Screw them! They're dead. <sighs> I never truly believed this day would come. What? Freezing your nips off with a bunch of us? The day that I would prove myself against Fin Fang Foom. When Katath fell, many of my brethren sought to redeem themselves by slaying the great beast. But you were after retribution of your own. Indeed. My search for Thanos was all-consuming, and I forewent this honor. Here, give me a hand. We should be ready. We don't know the source of that smoke. We're more hostiles. A nice warm fire and some cigar and spirits. No doubt it's something that'll try to kill us. This place is like a fun house of razor blades. Great speech. But I'm not worried. We face meteors, poison zit cats, and abominable snowmen. When to go? Right. And we beat them all. I'd back this team against anything, including Fin Fang Foom. Right. Except not, because we're not killing him. Whatever it is, it smells... Bodies. It smells of bodies. Jeez. Is all this foom? Undoubtedly. Up 
up ahead. Looks like there's a survivor. Who goes there? No head. She has no head. I believe that repulsive tentacle orb is her head. And I can hear you with it. Are you the only survivor? Clearly not. Who are you, Meat Sacks? We're here for film. Forget what I said. Yeah, I'm the only survivor. Or will be. I take it you know where we can find him? Sure. Digesting my men back at his roost. Big Eyes Obelisk sticking out of the Caldera's frozen sea. Don't worry, we'll take care of Foom. Sure you will, Terran. Just don't come running back here when he chases you. Still got some things to pack up. Are you gonna be okay? I don't need your pity, Terran. I'll head back to Contraxia and lick my wounds. Ooh, hey, you may not want to do that. Contraxia isn't exactly safe right now. <laughs> when is it ever? Seriously, maybe you should just come with us. I've been embarrassed enough today without taking help from a stranger. I can look after myself. Well, if you hear people talking about a promise with a matriarch, just steer clear. I'll keep that in mind. Sorry about your men. Eh, dead men collect no paychecks. Speaking of, aren't you the Mad Titan's daughter? What of it? Relax, I'm not looking for trouble. There was a time I'd have taken you in for the bounty. There was a time I'd have killed you for trying. <laughs> yeah, seems we've both got bigger problems right now. Seems like. Mind if I help myself to your stuff? No? Well, thank you. May as well put it to good use, right? They ain't using it. Just hoping we do better against Foom than this lot. Another hunt marker? This one is unclaimed. No doubt it belonged to one of these corpses. Guess they never got the chance to plan it. I have appropriated it for our own use. To herald our bravery this day, shall mark our ultimate conquest, or our glorious defeat. Who may be bad news, but he's nothing compared to the fight that comes next. And it shall mark our penultimate conquest. One conquest at a time. Big ice thingy on the frozen sea, eh? You said it, buddy. Sure is a long way down.
right, people. Let's catch us a dragon. Yes. We grow ever closer to our great destiny. You're awful, Chipper, considering Foom obliterated that camp like it was nothing. We are not nothing. I'm with Drax. No mountain too high, no valley too low. Literally. In the case of this place. I'm getting too old for this. How old are you? Old enough. You won't say? That old? No, that... young. I was grown, remember? I ain't gonna brand myself with how many cycles I've been sucking down air. The rodent is mentally much older than any of us. Thank you. And emotionally much younger. Har har! Whoa! Hey, Keith! The ice is amplifying our velocity! This is how I die! Our death can use. <laughs> well, that takes care of the getting down part. I don't even want to think about how we're going to get back up or how we're going to get Foom up there. Look on the bright side. We may be dead. Nonsense. Back on Earth, people would use dog sleds. A whole line of huskies pulling a sled across the ice. Don't expect me to be the dog. I was actually thinking of the Wendigo, and Foom is the sled. That's the craziest idea I've ever heard. Yeah. I love it. Too bad that camp didn't have nothing useful, like a can of anti-foam spray. Perhaps a copy of Fighting Fin Fang Foom Volume 3, Dragon Slaying Techniques and Strategies. Uh, somebody actually wrote that? <laughs> no. I invented an imaginary book with an exceptionally verbose title in order to create levity. Hmm, excellent levity, Drax. Thank you. So, what was up with old Bubblehead? Seemed like an augment to me. Some sort of amorphous biochemical appendage. Imagine what she could do with all those hands. Don't be gross. What? I didn't mean it like that. Ooh, I didn't think it could get any colder. You know, it's days like these, I'm glad I installed seat warmers in the Milano. Up ahead, there's the ice obelisk. This must be it, the frozen sea. This is the perfect spot. Here we will challenge the great beast. Fin Fang Foom, come and face your death. What are you doing? We can't get the drop on him if he knows we're here. Also, we're not killing him, remember? Shout with me. Here we demonstrate our metal. Fin Fang Foom! Your end draws near! Nope, not his end. Your quill, go! Uh, Fin Fang Foom, it's nap time! Rocket, it's your turn! Did he just say my real name? Rocket! Fin Fang Foom, we're gonna decomboggle your flock and scut spigots! You hear me? He hears you! You scaly, overgrown gordel splode! You fessed lump of Satarkian shrub meat! You don't scare us! It feels good, does it not? Yeah! Yeah! It actually does! No! We disrobe! Yeah, we're not doing that. Prepare yourself, Fin Fang Foom. You face your final moments. Not final. Just through here. Be ready for anything. That is technically impossible. Groot's worried about the ice. 
If it'll hold Foom, it'll hold us. Maklu 4 is said to have a frozen core. Below the surface is layers upon layers of more ice. Him. Impossible. Foom was born without fear. You don't know that. In the cold heart of a dying star. Dying stars ain't cold. This one was. You think his lair's behind that? Let's find out. In. We take our time and we bring them down. Who's with me? Die! Seen. Yes! Feeling pep! Not so invincible after all! Yeah! Bust up the other pieces! Let's strip this guy there! That's two! You're the bane of ice, Peter Quill! See? Bane of ice isn't such a bad nickname! Ah! We should have just carpet popped him with the Milano! You mean the Milano we crashed? Boom, baby! How you like us now? His opinion does not appear to have improved! So hot now, are you, Boom? Or bring it, you overgrown lizard! Looks like he just did! Run! That was too close! Good thinking! Muscles! Get through the head! He thinks you two can creep on that rock right into Boom's face! Peter Quill! Unleash me onto these fools! Attacks! Ah! 
His own might will be his undoing! Death Aurora, has come! Run him through! You overgrown lizard!
Give up, boom! I find you do love Lady Hellbender! Promise!
dead! New gun! away from winning this fight. But if we start dancing before we actually win, these scut holes will send us to our graves. So let's keep our focus and show these losers exactly how we rock. Who's with me? Today, I am let's the destroyer. Let's do this! You st We screwed up. We conned you. Robbed you. Killed your... baby. We can't take back what we've done. But we want to make it right. Uh, Quill... Heard the Dragon Lord of Kakarantara! Ah! 